Hi, my name's Dr Jen Wilson and I'm a landscape ecologist with the Golden Broken and Catchment Management Authority. And I'm here to show you all the great work that is happening through the Australian Government funding um, across the catchment, from the hills to the plains. Yeah. Lee and I work for Up To Us Land Care Alliance in Mansfield. So that covers the whole of the Mansfield Shire. As part of my role as a land care officer, I've been given some assistance through the Golden Broken Catchment Management Authority um, to deliver a program where we get farmers to put aside patches of land that are planted out for biodiversity corridors and biodiversity plantings. to have 1,700 plants. I ordered 1,700 plants to put in, mainly uh, understory, probably 20 different species in total, of which a good half would be acacia. And uh, they're in the ground, and um, you can probably see in the background the plant guards around them, and they're hopefully growing away furiously with this great weather we're having. And, and I hope in time that that will provide better habitat. Even though I'm a beef cattle farmer, I get a great thrill out of seeing the plants grow. The biodiversity funding made it a lot easier, so the funding is, is extremely Welcome. In total, in the last two years, just in my southwest Goulburn land care area, protected 265 hectares of land with about 10 landholders. So I think that's a fabulous outcome. Funded Threatened Communities Project works with a lot of landholders and helps educate them about the benefits and wonderful things that they have in their backyard and that's why I enjoy working with landholders. What I hope to achieve is to try and fence off a lot of these areas which I realise uh, could be very susceptible to damage by stock and um, hopefully allow a lot of the native grasslands to come back and have a little bit more biodiversity as in shrubs and stuff like that. This project's brought a lot of benefits to the community, I believe. It's helped landholders to understand what they have in their backyard and to appreciate things a lot more. And I really enjoy working with landholders that are passionate like Michael and really enjoy learning about what they have. erosion problems here, massive erosion problems up in the steep hill country and down through the flats and this fund is helping us on the project fencing off the erosion gullies and revegetating them. This fund is a great way I believe for landowners to be able to do this sort of work to get that financial incentive to encourage them to be able to do this sort of work that perhaps they mightn't have done mm. in, other, in other times without this assistance. And also, uh, it's fantastic having um, our land co care coordinators helping us and guiding us too. It's just another incentive too, as well as the financial incentive. Yeah, Judy and her husband have done a lot of great work here on the property over the years, a lot of it off their own back. We've already noticed a big difference uh, in the erosion control that uh, we place as well with uh, exactly. the, the intense, fairly intense vegetation, uh, very, fairly close to the uh, water courses uh, and it's, it's made a big difference uh, already and of course not allowing the stock in there makes a, a huge improvement also. The funding has contributed to the fencing and the fencing is by far financially the, the major component of, of the work we've been doing. Uh, we've happily put in the labour but we certainly wouldn't have been able to have done what we've done without the assistance we've had with both the fencing and the construction of the fencing as well. So as, as well as the uh, seeding itself. As yeah. well as direct seeding. So it's, it's been enormously helpful to us. It certainly many, allowed us to do a lot more in seven years than we would 